So one of the newest things that's come out of the GI cancer world in the last year or so is that for the rare subset of patients that have microsatellite instability, high metastatic colorectal cancer, which is only about 4% of patients with advanced colorectal cancer, they seem to benefit much more from immunotherapy than traditional chemotherapy. In the Keynote 177 study, patients were randomized to either pembrolizumab, an anti-PD-1 monoclonal antibody immunotherapy drug, or to standard chemotherapy, and it was really left to the discretion of the treating oncologist which chemotherapy regimen to choose from. The big overall change that was first presented was that the time to disease progression was doubled if folks got immunotherapy compared to chemotherapy. Moreover, side effects were three times the rate in those who got chemotherapy as patients who got immune therapy. And newer overall survival data that has emerged just in the last month or so in mid-2021 shows that even though about two out of three patients who got chemotherapy eventually then later got immunotherapy, there was still a trend towards an overall survival benefit if you got immunotherapy first. While it was not statistically significant, despite this large amount of crossover to basically everyone or most patients receiving immunotherapy at some point in their disease course, it still seemed to be preferred if they got immunotherapy up front, which again had fewer side effects. What we're trying to figure out is there is about a third of patients for whatever reason where immunotherapy doesn't work where we think it should. And we're trying to figure out why that's happening. Is there a specific mutation, a specific issue with the immune system that's not uh, allowing that immunotherapy to work where it should? So we hope to get more information on that in the near future.